Welcome to the Windows 8.1 computer lessons channel and this is lesson 8 and this lesson is on how to group and name groups of tiles on your start screen. Now when you get your computer they are basically scattered all around you get all these apps and most computers that I've seen don't have any categories they're basically a bunch of apps all one next to the other it's a cluttered experience it's another little fail I would say with Microsoft there should be categories already at the start but there aren't here you can see that I have categories called Internet uh, Nouvelle which is news in French uh, video streaming and so on and you can actually put all these together I'll show you with an example that I'll do my own how to create groups and how to manage all these groups together and have little separation. You see that all my groups here are separated with uh, little spaces between them. So how do you create that experience? Well, on your start screen, first of all, think of what you want to group together. I'll be using uh, games. I want to group all the games that I have in a section of my Windows start screen. So what I'll do is first of all check where I have games. I have games here, I got games here, in the middle, things that aren't games and that are not supposed to be there. So if you already have some categories you can make, just click or hold and slide the icons of that experience into the group that you want to put them. If there are icons that aren't supposed to be there, take them and move them away. You can move them to the far right of your screen, get them out of the way. Get everything out of the way. If everything's kind of cluttered together, you can actually create a new separation. How? If you take an icon and move it to the far right, you notice that there's a little bar that appears. And that's a separation. That's telling me, okay, this is going to be separate from everything else. Just drop them to the really the far right after that little um, separation and bring all of the icons or tiles to that area. Of course, remember that you can actually right click to resize tiles, have them bigger or smaller. So you can right click and choose a tile, say it's wide, medium, or small. For example here, I'll change some of my tiles to smaller and keep the big ones that I really want big. So here, I'm moving another one for a game. Then I'm going to take this one. I still have other games here, so I can bring this tile also. And you see that automatically, when there's no more space, the tiles move to a second uh, column right next in the same category. So I'm going to move. What else? I've got a solitaire connection collection here. I'm going to put the solitaire. I'm going to... Do I have any other games here? I uh, don't seem to have any other games here. So these would be basically my game section for now. And of course you can add later on other tiles to that section. Once you've done that, right click on any tile and you'll see that at the top it's going to say name group click in there and start typing. I'll put Windows Games and press enter. And here I've got a section called Windows Games now. So this is how it works. Once you've done the naming you can click anywhere out of this window and now you've got that new category. You can actually um, put on your screen as many categories as you want and um, basically you'll have all of those neatly put on your screen something that's much better than having a cluttered space with all sorts of icons you can take that time to actually remove icons that you don't want so what you can do is okay for example um, I don't have any star market stuff I can right click on it and I can simply unpin from start. If you don't want to remove the object, you just unpin from start. I'm going to right click this one also, I'll unpin from start. 
unpin everything that you don't use and make your experience a much better one by having only the tiles that you wish on the screen. So make yourself groups and help yourself with a better Windows experience thanks to these little tips. And by resizing tiles, you can actually put more tiles in the same space also. So remember that the more you'll play with that and make the experience better, the less cluttered your start screen, the better the experience is going to be also. And easy, it's going to be easy for you to find what you want to do. And of course, always put to the left side what you'll use the most. So for example, I've put the desktop right here on the bottom left because I want to use this. I use this so, so often. I want it to have an easy way to access. So all my Google and Explorer, my Google Chrome, all the things I use really often are on the left side because that's where your computer uh, actually turns on. When your start screen appears, you're always on the left side of the screen. So by having your favorite tiles on the left side of the screen, you'll have less of a going through the left and right side and having to go through all these apps. And of course, remember, right click and unpin anything that you just don't want because it's not complicated. Uh, the more apps you have on this screen, uh, the less the experience is fun and the more you have to search for everything. So um, don't forget that when you unpin, you don't uninstall. What I've unpinned, for example, I've unpinned the uh, stock market. If I go into the f all apps on the bottom left and look for it uh, by going into, for example, by name, and here you will check for the stock market app. And uh, I don't know what it was called, but uh, probably in finance or something. Here we go, finance. It's in the F portion here. So I didn't uninstall, I just unpin. Unpin means I take it out of the start screen, but it is not, uh, it's still available in the full app view. So if you uh, enjoy our lessons, please subscribe to our channel, share with all of your friends, and uh, hopefully they uh, help you learn more of Windows 8.1. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel so that you'll have um, notification every time we have new lessons online. We try to put some every week. And hopefully you enjoy our lessons and we'll continue on learning Windows 8 with us. Thanks for watching and hope you come back to the Windows 8.1 lessons channel. Bye-bye.